Hello friends, welcome to another video on my YouTube channel and in today's video you will learn to build this kind of interface for image classification model and I'll guide you through all the steps required to build this kind of beautiful interface. So here there is example section when I click on this example section and hit submit you can see we got a beautiful output showing the different classes this image belongs to and the percentage as well and let's get started then so before we move forward i would like to show you that the code i'm going to use is available on my github and the link of this repository is in the description as well next uh, we are going to use a tool called gradio developed by hugging face and there is so much uh, to you know explore with this tool and you can go to this gradio demos to see all the different demos for machine learning projects available and you can copy the code and you know build your own things now i am here inside my visual studio code and we are going to implement ResNet 18 from PyTorch which is pre-trained on ImageNet dataset and we are going to use it to you know first uh, see how it works and then implement the same model using uh, Gradio UI so let me first import few things next here what I am doing is I am checking if CUDA is available or not based on that either use CUDA or CPU so in my case CUDA is available uh, next uh, you will need two things uh, ResNet 18 weights and supported file to build the model so both the links are available and also I'll paste the link in the description as well so what I have done is that I have already downloaded those two things and I put it inside my model folder. So from this local repository, I am creating my model. So we are using uh, torchhub.load to load our model from this local files. I am using source local and repo directory path. To, so I am using this uh, directory path then model uh, res8 and for weights i'm using res8 weights default and i'm you know uh, putting this model into evolution and then transferring it to the device so let me run this yeah let's see the model yeah you can see it is resnet uh, next in order to get the labels i'm using this repository link and then i'm reading that using request and then converting those uh, information into labels like this yeah now uh, let's read an image using pil image module and let's see that okay so this is uh, cheetah image now uh, the model cannot accept uh, pil image so we need to transfer it into tensor and since uh, my model is on device i need to transfer my input on device as well so i'll use transforms uh, to tensor pass the image then unsqueeze it so that it can become one sample and then transferring it to the device next uh, we will pass the image uh, into the model and see the predictions Yeah. So now this prediction in my case uh, is uh, uh, is a, is a last dense layer output. Uh, we need to you know pass it to a function in order to get a response. So I'll use softmax to get the probabilities. Yeah, you can see the probabilities for all the uh, classes, and then. Uh, with the help of label and uh, prediction probabilities, I'll create a dictionary so class against the probability of that class uh, these two things what i'll do is that i'll just sort the confidence so you can see that cheetah came first and then uh, just showing uh, five top outputs 
uh, I think this is good. It is working okay. So now let's move into the code section of Gradio user interface. So here I'll import few things first. Then obviously I'm going to make sure that uh, CUDA is available. Then use it. Otherwise use CPU. Uh, then I'll build the model same way we have built in the IPython notebook. Then uh, putting into evolution mode and then transferring it to device. I'll get the labels. Now here in this section things get interesting. So Gradio has an interface class which requires you know three main thing a function input and output. So when you provide these things Gradio will pass the input to the function and whatever output written by that function uh, Gradio interface will set outputs as that return. So I have a predict function which accept image. Uh, which will be PIL image uh, then you know I'll transfer it to uh, device converting to tensor then I'll get prediction and then I'll get the confidence now uh, when you return this kind of confidence in image classification uh, example you need to convert it into dictionary where key is the label and value is the probability of that label so we are returning only that thing uh, in ipython notebook we have seen this thing it was just for visualization so this gradio interface will take function which is our predict function input as gradio component image and type pil it will read the image and the confidence we uh, pass that confidence as output and gradio component label will show the output as well uh, there is title description and article which is uh, not mandatory but it you know uh, it, it gives a feel to the ui example is a list of lists and each list inside uh, the list is a sample and i have used allow flagging to never so flagging uh, creates a flag button here next to the output and when you click on that uh, it will uh, save the input and output into a flagged folder here and when you use demo.launch it will launch the application and in order to run the file you need to use gradio command instead of python command so this application is running now let me show you one more interesting thing is that i have installed ngrock ngrock is a local internet tunneling tool which expose your local host to internet so when i hit enter it will create me a url and when i click on that url it will return the same application so you can see that uh, my local application is running on internet i can share this url to other people to you know uh, test the application as well and we can see that let's hit on this cheetah image and submit i guess it will take yeah you can see the results uh, it was very fast so i guess this is it from my side of the video and i hope that you have gained some knowledge out of this video in case you want to replicate the same ui for your uh, image classification model what you need to do is that change the things here uh, the pil image will be passed to your function convert that into something that your model expects and then you know create a dictionary with a label and confidence uh, in it and then pass it to the interface and it will create this kind of beautiful interface so i guess again this is it uh, in case you like my work Please consider subscribing to my channel uh, that helps. Uh, thank you for watching. Peace.